Hey guys, the time has come. We are finally uh, flipping this little chest of drawers that we have been teasing for a while. We've had this antique in our possession for a minute now and have been meaning to uh, properly restore it and fix her up a little bit since she is in rough shape. As you can see, there's quite a bit of damage. The top is quite damaged and the sides as well, but we love the character of this piece. I have actually been looking for a piece like this for a long time, so I will be keeping this one. Um, of course, as usual, we get started with just the usual cleaning, coming in with a good vacuum. We picked this piece up off the side of the road, so it was a very good find, very lucky find, um, but definitely a bit dirty. So we had to get in there and really scrub and vacuum and give this piece a good cleanup. So you can see that top there was pretty uneven. Of course, we took all the hardware and put it aside. We'll just be cleaning it. But um, yeah, as you can see, that top was quite uneven. So we will be addressing that. It is a substantial crack, so it won't be um, easy to cover it up. It won't be seamless by any means, but we don't mind. Like I said, we'll be keeping it. So we like the extra character. We don't mind that that top is kind of cracked there. We're just gonna try to fix it so that at least the surface is even. Now this piece, normally like wood restoration takes a really long time, it's a lengthy process and it's a lot of work, but this piece sanded like a dream. It was so easy to just sand it down to the raw wood, there really wasn't much of a stain on there. And here we are applying our glue. So we clamped this down on the sides. Like I said, we wanted to make the surface even, um, even though we won't be able to cover up that crack perfectly, at least we wanted just the surface to be flat. And once the glue had dried properly, we came in and sanded that down. So while we were sanding, we did save a lot of our dust here so that we can mix it with some more glue and hopefully um, get kind of like a peanut butter consistency we'll be using this to fill in that large crack along the top. So here we are just kind of filling in that crack there. We did have to do a couple applications of this just to fill it in properly. And of course we tried to scrape away as much of the excess so it wouldn't be too hard to sand down later. Sorry for the shaky camera, it was really windy outside. <laughs> so after a couple applications and allowing it to dry properly, we just came in and sanded down the excess. So as you can see, the crack is still mildly visible, but overall <laughs> it was a lot better than it was and at least now it's been properly stabilized. So we were ready for our paint wash. Um, we did water down our paint quite a bit. We did two parts water because we really didn't want it to um, stain the wood too much. We just wanted to neutralize some of those orange tones that you'll find in oak. For a piece of this age, um, this restoration job was surprisingly quick. Really, the sanding didn't take much time, the repairs were fairly straightforward, and the paint wash turned out great. So this was immediately after the paint wash. And after allowing it to dry, we did come in and apply two coats of just poly on top. I do find that the poly made the crack more visible. Um, and then finally it was time to just reattach all of our hardware. So the little keyhole pieces here, they were the tiniest little nails that I had to hammer back in. And then I just very gently hammered it all down flat again since they had bent when I removed them. And finally we were able to bring it inside. So this is our before one last time, and here is our after. So this piece is actually intended for our new nursery because we are expecting a second baby in the month of January. So we'll be using this as our changing table. Oh, 
overall, I'm beyond thrilled with how this piece turned out. It's absolutely beautiful and it'll be perfect for the nursery. As usual, we thank you for watching and we'll be flipping an Art Deco piece soon, so make sure to check back for that.